an original recipe chicken filet wrapped around the pure food's tender, juicy hot dog. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 30 craziest, most decadent, and outlandish fast food items of the century so far. Two worlds colliding, pizza and cheeseburgers. Number 30, peanut butter and bacon shake, Sonic. The drive-in restaurant is known for offering a wide variety of milkshake flavors, with new ones added to the menu regularly. In 2013, they introduced a wild flavor combination, peanut butter and bacon. Why does that sound so good? The chain's usual uh, spokespeople are now hawking the new milkshake. Although we would have never thought of this pairing by ourselves, we can see why it works. Peanuts are often used in sweet and savory dishes. It's actually got an incredibly strong hit of peanut butter flavor. I mean, this is a peanut butter shake. They are not kidding around on that front. Elvis Presley famously combined peanut butter with bacon on his fried banana sandwich. That being said, we're still unsure about the choice to blend bacon and peanut butter together with ice cream. Maybe it's an acquired taste. Number 29, The Breakfast Burger, Carl's Jr. Many quick serve restaurants have breakfast items that cater to morning crowds. However, Carl's Jr.'s idea to top a burger with an egg was pretty novel back in 2004. The chain, known for its burgers, decided to make one that incorporates more traditional breakfast flavors. The sandwich was a hit, and has since become a staple of their lineup. The charbroiled beef patty comes with the usual toppings like cheese and ketchup, as well as bacon, hash browns, and of course, an egg. You can see the egg, you can see the, the hash browns, it's delicious. Add in the sesame bun, and you get a pretty massive sandwich that tastes like breakfast and lunch. Number 28, Blackjack Taco, Taco Bell. This menu item was released just in time, and for a limited time, for Halloween in 2009, with beef, lettuce, a three cheese blend, and Baja sauce, the ingredients for the taco seemed relatively normal. Blackjack taco. Taco, taco, with pepper jack sauce. That is, until you consider the black hard corn shell. The dark and edible outer vessel gave a whole new look to the familiar dish. The craziest part about it, however, was what happened after you ate it. That is actually really good. It's a little bizarre having a black a black taco. Certain customers reportedly discovered that something in the taco, presumably the shell's dye, turned their bowel movements green. Now that's what we call spooky. Number 27, Popcorn Chicken Nacho Box, KFC. We never would have considered putting popcorn chicken on top of nachos. The menu item, released in Australia, was also served with traditional fixings like shredded cheese and salsa. KFC's new nacho box. Delicious popcorn chicken, tasty cheese and salsa on top of crunchy corn chips. In case the wacky combination of breaded chicken and nachos wasn't enough for you, the fast food joint also introduced a nacho burger to the menu. The new KFC spicy nacho stacker. Singer fillet, cheese, hash brown, salsa and a spicy nacho. Why pick between different types of cuisine when you could have it all at once? Number 26, Cheesy Macaroni Bites, Jack in the Box. Mac and cheese isn't a dish we typically think of as portable. That changed when Jack in the Box made it into a finger food with this now discontinued menu item. The triangle-shaped deep-fried pockets were easily handheld, perfect for eating as you're out and about. Lightly battered deep-fried triangles filled with warm macaroni and Kraft cheese. Great for people on the go. You may remember the ad they released, which highlighted the item's portability by suggesting that it was much safer to eat while driving than, say, burgers or hot dogs. After being removed from the menu for a brief time, the dish returned in 2021 with a slightly different name and look. This cylindrical variation was dubbed the Mac and Cheese Bite. My $4 mini munchies, only a Jack in the Box. Number 25, Oreo Dessert Pizza, Domino's. Here is the proof that two delicious foods don't always combine well. While the idea of an Oreo-inspired pizza is one that had a salivating at first, this dish lacked in execution what it had in concept. That's not stuff, Meredith. It's an Oreo dessert pizza mustache. The hot dish consisted of a bland wafer crust, cloyingly sweet vanilla icing, and Oreo cookie crumbles. Without a good balance of flavor and texture, the end result felt more sad than anything else. The Domino's dessert pizza, the unboxing. And... Well, there's some uh, lid stick there, and that's what it looks like. The disappointed response from customers to Domino's attempt at a dessert pizza was pretty unanimous. We were hoping this one would be crazy good. Unfortunately, it was crazy bad. Number 24, McSalad Shakers, McDonald's. 
Salads aren't the first thing we think of when we think of fast food. McDonald's fresh toss salads, loaded with fresh vegetables for loads of taste. That being said, most chain establishments include some sort of leafy green dish on their menu. Starting in 2000, McDonald's tried to make salads exciting with their McSalad shakers. They served the meal in a tall cup-like container with a dressing on the side. It was up to customers to add the dressing and distribute it by shaking the container, like the name suggests. Now's the time to head to McDonald's for crisp, cool McSalad shakers. Just pour on your favorite dressing, shake, and get dressing on every bite. The meal came in three different versions, Chef, Chicken Caesar, and Garden. Unfortunately, the inventive approach to salad has since been discontinued. Number 23, Foie Gras Rossini Burger, Wendy's. Here's something for the high-end foodies. The French cuisine-inspired burger debuted in Japan in 2011, when Wendy's was making a push to open more locations in the country. It consisted of a square-shaped patty capped with a heaping slab of foie gras and flavored with truffle. Talk about a fancy offering. We've never seen a dish like this sold at a quick service joint. When it was first released, the sandwich put customers back $16 per burger. While that number seems steep for a fast food item, it's a steal compared to the price of a comparable dish served at a New York bistro. Number 22, Cap'n Crunch Delights, Taco Bell. We thought this crazy menu item could only exist in our dreams. While some call it a breakfast dish, it's honestly more like a dessert. The deep fried balls consist of a bright pink pastry with a sweet cereal milk icing center and an outer coating of cereal bits. Not only are they achingly sweet, they're also full of nostalgia. It's always fun when food comes in a ball form. It's even better when they don't turn our waist into a funny color. Number 21, Nightmare King, Burger King. In the run-up to Halloween, Burger King is trying to give you nightmares. Fast food chain is releasing a burger called the Nightmare King, complete with a green bun, a quarter pound of beef, chicken, cheese, and bacon. In terms of the ingredient list, this Frankenburger is a little excessive, sure, but it's not nearly as obnoxious as some of the entries we'll be talking about later. It consists of a beef patty, a crispy chicken filet, thick cut bacon, and your usual toppings, all sandwiched between two dark green sesame seed buns. The real curveball? The fact that according to Burger King, consuming it is clinically proven to increase the likelihood of bad dreams. With this burger, the impact on sleep is gonna be uh, primarily based on all the different proteins in there. You've gotta do it all. Finish up, little man. Number 20, Spam and Oreo Burger, McDonald's. This exclusive members-only menu item caused a lot of confusion when it was released in China. Made with two slabs of Spam, Oreo crumbles, and mayo on a sesame bun, it was a strange sandwich to say the least. McDonald's in China has come up with a Spam burger. Okay. Topped with Oreo crumbles. Ooh. The burger was available only for one day this week. And the concoction received mixed reactions from customers. Some accused the fast food joint of purposely introducing a bizarre meal in order to grab attention. Others were simply displeased by the odd combination. Yet one loyal fan commented online, saying they found the meal delicious. With all that said, we're still not sure what to think of this dish. Number 19, Crown Crust Carnival, Pizza Hut. Many quick service pizza joints have tried to put their spin on the crust, but this menu item takes the crown, pun intended. Hail Pizza Hut's royal masterpiece, the new Crown Crust Pizza, made with perfectly grilled mini cheeseburger gems. Released first in Middle Eastern countries, it combined pizza with other fast food classics. Two versions of the pie were sold, one with a crust made of mini cheeseburgers and the other made of chicken nuggets. Each version came with its own sauce. A year later, Pizza Hut's in the UK released their own cheeseburger stuffed crust pie. It's just great pizzas and new innovation, like the cheeseburger. Hope you guys like it. Number 18, Bacon Wrap Deep Dish Pizza, Little Caesars. Three and a half feet of bacon, we only had one question. Is this much bacon even legal? Like we were saying, fast food pizza chains are always innovating. Back in 2016, Little Caesars decided to appeal to the nation's obsession with bacon by taking oh-so-addictive meat and wrapping it around their deep dish pizza. And just in case that wasn't enough bacon for their customers, the pizza was then garnished with crumbled bacon as well. It sounds hard to hold, but also like a surefire way to get people to eat the crust. I'm just a small town pizza lawyer, but I do declare that wrapping these eight crispy corners of pizza in over three and a half feet of bacon is perfectly legal. Number 17, Burger Dippers, Jack in the Box. No one ever asked Jack in the Box to reinvent the wheel, but they went ahead and did it anyways. They're not the first restaurant to deep fry a burger, but they certainly set themselves apart with their approach. 
crispy fried cheeseburger sticks perfect for dunking. Sadly, those who like their burgers with lettuce and tomato are out of luck. Regardless, 2019 was the year that, for better or worse, Jack started thinking outside the box. Number 16, Doritos Crunchy Crust Pizza, Pizza Hut. This chip will change everything. We've embedded it into the outer casing. If you're lactose intolerant, you might want to skip ahead past this extremely cheesy offering. Pizza Hut's Doritos-themed pizza featured a crust that was stuffed with mozzarella cheese and covered in pieces of the nacho cheese snack. And don't worry, you were free to have whatever toppings you wanted, but the freedom to adorn the pie with whatever you desire didn't change the fact that the people were mixed about the Doritos themselves. The fact that the chips were baked with the pie meant that customers could get a few burnt morsels on the crust. Additionally, the nacho taste didn't always blend with the pie's other cheeses. Overall, it seemed like customers preferred that the Doritos stay in a bag away from their pizza. Get crunchy fried with Pizza Hut, please! New stuff crust with the mozzarella cheese! Number 15, Sweet and Crunchy Tenders. Popeyes. That doesn't sound so weird. The shortbread cookie coating on my sweet and crunchy tenders. Wait, never mind. Our brains autocorrected to sweet and sour. And these aren't just tenders in a sweetened batter. They're literally cookie crusted. If your chicken tenders are sweet and there's no second flavor to balance that out, then we're not sure what to do with that information. Bold move, Popeyes. According to Delish, kids loved them. Shocking. Oh, they also did cookie dough tenders. Did you eat all of my samples? Mom? Yes, you did. I did not. You're eating them right now. Am I? Number 14, Stuffed Cheez-It Pizza, Pizza Hut. You didn't ask for it, but boy, are you gonna want it. Guess who? Pizza Hut has apparently made it their mandate to establish themselves as the franchise most committed to pushing the boundaries of good taste. In 2019, they boldly went where no pizza chain has gone before by partnering up with Kellogg to make giant cheese stuffed Cheez-Its, which are served with marinara sauce for dipping. Now, in terms of branding, they are spot on. This looks like a box of Cheez-Its, except it's a pizza. It smells like a baked Cheez-It. It sure is something, and there's no mistaking that distinct Cheez-It taste, but it ain't pizza. Number 13, the Double Down, KFC. After years of eating the same meals, John was encouraged to try the new Double Down from KFC. Since this controversial menu item was initially announced around April Fool's Day, people thought the sandwich was a joke. After all, who would buy a sandwich where chicken served as buns to enclose bacon, sauces, and cheese? But KFC shocked the world by going through with this product. Admittedly, the Double Down did have its fans and sold over 10 million sandwiches. However, those sales weren't enough to convince KFC to keep it as a permanent menu item. The sandwich would go on to inspire are wilder variations, such as a double dog sandwich that literally doubled down on the meat. Not to be outdone, the zany original has made several returns, including a surprising comeback in March 2023. I know what you're asking yourself. How can it be so full of flavor? Number 12, Bacon Sunday, Burger King. It's ice cream and that's three. I, first of all, is there anybody who thinks that we need this or this is a good idea or this is going to be a massive? <laughs> Sweet and savory, when properly introduced to one another, can make for a truly divine combination. Mishandle the marriage, however, and the results can prove downright inedible. For example, the bacon shake from Jack in the Box garnered harsh reviews upon release in 2012. Burger King's bacon sundae seemingly fared a bit better, winning itself some devoted followers, but they still were few and far between. The finished product, a sundae with a strip of bacon shoved into it and more crumbled on top, admittedly lacked finesse. Number 11. Cheesa, KFC. KFC Cheesa, the crunch begins. The Colonel tried to shake up yet another traditional food recipe by putting a new spin on pizza. Their revolutionary creation dared to put toppings you would traditionally find on a Hawaiian slice on top of a cut of chicken. For some consumers, the idea of basing this concept on one of the most controversial pizza orders was already too much, but even those who don't mind Hawaiian pies had an issue with this. Not only did it fail to look as appetizing as the ads, but the sauce was reportedly too sweet and the ham topping didn't make an impression. Despite all odds, this product got a second chance in 2023, but we doubt it'll be replacing normal pizza orders anytime soon. You gotta try this. It's called Beyond KFC. Number 10, Pumpkin Spice French Fries. McDonald's. Man, that's really good. <laughs> that is, that's delicious. I don't really taste pumpkin out of that though. And pumpkin spice in any way. It's basically just chocolate. Pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice everywhere. The rule seems to be that if it can be eaten or drunk, it's only a matter of time until someone comes up with a pumpkin spice version. We thought french fries were safe, but oh, how wrong we were. 
The good folks at McDonald's Japan decided to celebrate the Halloween season by offering dueling orange and black pumpkin spice sauces to go with fries. We're not sure who asked for them, but there you have it. Hmm. You know, it doesn't taste bad at all. It is a little bit weird. I've never had a sweet version of McDonald's french fries before. Number 9. Cheetos Sandwich, KFC. Did someone say KFC Cheetos co-branded chicken sandwich? <gasps> is that a KFC chicken sandwich with Cheetos sauce and also actual Cheetos on it? It's like two logos in every bite. Maybe KFC felt bad for leaving North America out of the cheese of fun. In 2019, the fast food giant unveiled their next weird and wild fast food creation in Manhattan's East Village. It consisted of a crispy chicken filet loaded with Cheetos sauce and a handful of Cheetos. Of course, we need to mention that Taco Bell did it first with their Cheetos stuffed quesadilla a few years earlier. We don't know if that's something to brag about, though. Number 8. Pickle Juice Slush, Sonic. Sonic has debuted its new snow cone slushies. That includes the much talked about pickle juice slush. Get with it. <laughs> There's nothing quite like a refreshing slushy on a hot day. But if you're tired of traditional fruity flavors, get in a time machine. Go back to either 2018 or 2022 and get a pickle slush. As the name suggests, this icy drink is infused with sweet and salty flavors. The result is a drink that has been reported as a bit sweet and every bit as tart as the average pickle. As strange as it sounds, the masses flock to devour the slushy during its limited opening windows. The news of its popularity probably won't sway those who aren't big pickle fans. Oh God. I don't know why anyone would invent something like this. But those who dreamed of having this fruit in an icy form, this bright green drink should fulfill their needs. Number 7. Frito's Chili Pizza, Papa John's To recreate the feeling of having a heaping pile of chili in pizza form, this restaurant chain got beef, sauces, tomatoes, and onions. Hey, yeah. what if we put Fritos on a pizza and brought back the, uh, the old Frito pie? And for some added razzle-dazzle, Fritos were piled high on top after it was cooked. This bold combination attracted few fans and a lot of detractors who thought the sauce lacked kick. However, all would universally agree that the pizza had a major design flaw. If the Fritos that topped this pie didn't get soggy on the way to the customer, they would definitely get gross overnight. This meant customers had no choice but to consume the whole thing in one sitting or remove the Fritos. The most surprising part of this chili pie is that its obvious flaw was overlooked. Probably makes <laughs> chili mac and Frito pie for dinner. <laughs> Number 6. Buffalo Latte, Tim Hortons While there are many kinds of lattes out in the world, a famous Canadian chain decided to break new ground with a revolutionary new idea. Tim Hortons took a standard blend of milk, mocha, and espresso and decided to add some buffalo seasoning to the top. A whole lot of weird before coffee. <laughs> This drink was meant to be an homage to the New York City town where the famous spicy sauce was created, but it seems like Tim Hortons would have been better off with a different tribute. For those who have tried it, the latte and buffalo elements were apparently okay on their own, but very lackluster together. It was probably for the best that this novelty tribute didn't get further than Buffalo, New York. Whatever you order here, the whole team enjoys serving it up to customers who can't get enough. Number 5. Chicken-flavored chocolate truffles. KFC. As a gift for mom, the chain is giving out a Colonel Sanders romance novella. It's 96 pages <laughs> and it's titled Tender Wings of Desire. <laughs> You think KFC is pushing boundaries of fast food in America? You should see the sort of madness that they're experimenting with in New Zealand. Chocolate truffles are a popular treat and would make for a welcome addition to any dessert menu, but chicken-flavored truffles are a serious curveball. Why KFC thought this was the perfect treat for Mother's Day 2017, we're not sure. Happy Mother's Day! As for the truffles, they were only distributed to a few dozen lucky customers via online lottery. Number 4. Firecracker Burrito, Taco Bell. When this famous food chain wanted to spice up its ordinary burrito offerings, they decided to incorporate Pop Rocks. Just like you brought back Pop Rocks. Teddy Boy! Dubbed cayenne popping crystals by the food chain, these sweet and hot garnishes were meant to be poured onto a burrito. Consumers could simultaneously feel the novel crackle of cayenne in their mouth while consuming a familiar Taco Bell meal. If you could look past the bizarre setup to create this meal, there was still an issue. Apparently, adding too many cayenne popping crystals made the entire burrito taste too sweet to enjoy. It is lit up right now. Wow, you definitely got to be careful with the amount of Pop Rocks that you layer this with if you guys try this one because it's a little too sweet with too much on there, as expected. But it seemed like customers didn't want to add any in the end. The Pop Rocks have been kept away from their burritos in the years since the item was announced. Number 3. 
T-Rex Burger, Wendy's. Hey guys, I'm Paxton Elrod. I'm Alabama Boss. And today we're at Wendy's about to try the prehistoric T-Rex Burger. This hulking menu item might be more intimidating than the meteor that wiped out the dinosaurs. The T-Rex Burger consists of nine beef patties, nine slices of cheese, and an utter disregard for your arteries. It was originally available at a single Wendy's location in Canada. However, it was officially removed once corporate officials got wind of the sandwich. Maybe that's because it had an astounding 3,000 calories, or it could be because no human alive could bite into the entirety of the T-Rex Burger's massive size without unhinging their jaw. Fittingly, the only reason this exists is because of a fake joke advertisement printed in a magazine. We firmly believe that this sandwich should have remained as a work of fiction. You don't even have a burger left. I lost control of it a long time ago. Number two, Waffle Taco, Taco Bell. What is this? A waffle taco? What's next, a pancake enchilada? It's a slippery slope, I tell you. It's a gateway breakfast. Today they're eating waffle tacos, tomorrow they're loitering. Claiming the silver medal for the craziest fast food menu item of the decade is Taco Bell, a company that's no stranger to wacky limited time offerings. With this, however, they really push the limits of good taste. For starters, this thing can hardly be called a taco. It's a breakfast sausage patty covered in scrambled eggs and shredded cheese folded together in a waffle. We're all for breakfast tacos, but this is madness. Sadly, all good things must come to an end. In 2015, it was replaced by a biscuit taco. This is the bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit taco. It's warm and it's fluffy. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, donut sandwich, KFC. So let's get into it. Wow, so that's a big donut. Decades after chicken and waffles became a popular menu item, KFC got sweet and savory with its own sandwich. Chefs took a piece of their classic chicken and stuck it between two fully glazed donuts. This allowed customers to experience the savory entree with all the icing they'd expect from the sugary treats. If that wasn't enough, another variation of this item was released in Australia and dubbed the Donut Zinger Burger. This overindulgent sandwich feels like a cross-section of the worst fast food impulses. It's a combination of multiple junk foods, vigorous unhealthy and brings two different taste sensations together. Whether it's consumed for breakfast, dinner, or late at night, this donut sandwich will always be outrageous. Burger with a donut for a bun? Truly there is no good here. Which of these outrageous items do you stand? Let us know in the comments. Oh my god, that's awful! Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.